I blame Bill Gates and ah, Windows 98. Okay. <laughs> I, I remember that. We talked so. about it last week. <laughs> yes, you did. You did. So, In- all right. Including y- our y'all ready Raptor. for this? Did you, did yes. You, the first like uh, 20 yes. seconds of my uh, audio will be uh, silent, Joe, because I was muted and forgot the shortcut <laughs> for unmute in Audacity for a hot second. The first minute of mine is just us bullshitting. Cool. Got it. I mean, isn't that the first 10 minutes of the podcast? Isn't that the podcast? <laughs> yeah. We've on that started. note. <laughs> Welcome to the Hap in the Bag Disc Golf Podcast, streaming to you as part of the Joe's Disc Golf Podcast Network. And here are your hosts, Ben, Joe, and RJ. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and... <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Half in the Bag Disc Golf Podcast. As always, my name is RJ. I'm coming to you from Northeast Indiana, and today I am drinking Noble Oak, uh, some some nice Indiana bourbon, and I am joined by two fine men, the first of which is, uh, well, in a much better lit cave than he was the last time I talked to him, Joe. Me? Oh, wait. It wasn't that well lit. <laughs> we couldn't see your discs, so no, it wasn't the lighting. Pick. It was poor choices of colors of discs. It was turns out red on red uh, is like camouflage. What weird! I who would have thought? Who knew? You didn't think that that was going to be a thing with all the leaves you've lost discs in? No, just like ah, still missing that biofusion enforcer. I lost that so, years ago. <laughs> so, Joe, what are you drinking today? My own tears because I watched the Bears game and I watched them give it away for the second week in a row. Give well, away, give I, I, I uh, was luckily saved watching the Colts game today because I was working some hockey. But uh, enough about that. If there's any Here's... consolation, though, I... Um... I am playing our former co-host, Ben, in fantasy, and, well, it's not going well for him at all. <laughs> Yay. His, his team oh, name man. for the last couple of years is the Pup List, because <laughs> out of anyone in our league, he has the worst luck with IR. Oh, that's how mine is. If he too. drafts that's anybody, I'm too. just like, oh crap! You you drafted Justin Fields. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> to be Why fair, would you draft Justin Fields? Says the guy that definitely drafted Justin Fields in one of his leagues. To be fair, though, he's a Bears quarterback, <laughs> so that's not really like. We all know the Bears <laughs> quarterbacks don't make it. It's it's not exactly the Madden curse, huh? No, it's just the Chicago curse. Yeah, yeah. It's not All right. Even well, occurs. it's just expected at this point. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of uh, our former co-host Ben, uh, let's let's get to a man who you've heard his voice already multiple times this episode, and, uh, and you know in every we are very thankful because he shows up, and, and we are very <laughs> thankful for his um, contributions to this podcast. It's Ian. Ian, how are you? And what are you drinking today? Oh, uh, I thought I was just going to go as uh, not Ben, but um, I am drinking uh, some some delightful water out of a uh, Coca-Cola glass that I'm pretty sure my family got from like McDonald's in the late 90s, yep. early 2000s. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I know those. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> yep. Oh, it absolutely is. Uh, we so, could just call you Dan. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> mind if we call you Bruce? That makes things easier. <laughs> that's a joke for uh yeah oh um, man but yeah I, i've i've been uh dming for the past like five-ish hours so oh boy. you know like oh yeah need some water yeah now have you been dming for D D or bdsm D D. oh okay eh, not the I'm, I'm, you know, if I was D, uh, <clears throat> DMing for uh, an actual dungeon, I would be uh, making a lot more money. <laughs> I feel just as disgusting <laughs> at the end of the day. Oh, man. 
No. But somehow the smell might be better. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, at least everyone there is honest for what they want. (laughs) But, uh, yeah, it's uh, session three of of the uh, campaign I've got going. Nice. Getting, like, full swing. They've just made it to third level, so, like... It's a good time. How many of them have you killed yet? Uh, zero, but I have maimed one of them greatly. Okay, and says? now what about their characters? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so uh, now, Ian, I do have a question for you. You, mm-hmm. you said that you're drinking a liquid out of a different liquids container, I have to assume that that is in solidarity with all of the World Cup fans who are having to drink beer out of non-beer containers. Uh, yeah, I heard oh, about this, yes. and uh, we'll go with yes, because I don't want soccer hooligans showing up at my doorstep, if any of them are tech-savvy. Let's let's face it. <laughs> this is America. There aren't really soccer fans here, except once every hey. four years. hey. Hey, I am even wearing a soccer t-shirt today. But look, you know as well as anybody, soccer isn't that popular here, relatively speaking. No, it's not. It's not. I put up a... And the um, World Cup's, what, every four not. or five years? It's, it's every four years, unless Arsene Wenger has his way, in which case it'll be every two years. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Too yeah. much. Um, or depending on how you look at it, it's every other year, or it's every year, or it's every three years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Depending on you know how you want to count the women's World Cup too. Yeah. Which you know, as an American and, and a U.S. soccer fan, I definitely count the women's World Cup as just as prestigious as the men's. They haven't lost to Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> uh, they've they've won significantly more World Cups too. Well, yep. that's not a huge accomplishment when you're comparing them to the men's team. No offense. Uh, All, they are very I, good soccer players. Don't get me wrong. But like that's that's like c- comparative to the rest of the world. We're just not. We're that, not. We're not as good. No. Well, no, we call it soccer instead of football. And we have our own game called football in which you don't really do that much with your foot. And I did ball. Well, yes, you were a kicker. Like you're the only position that's which like, would, oh, football. That I was makes a sense. punter. Which some people would argue is uh, the least footbally part of football. Probably, Correct. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, rugby was taken, and sweaty dudes holding, hugging a ball, and touching each other isn't really a sport game. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to play. No, I'm really glad football, I hadn't taken a drink reach yet. Around and. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Is that what the Bears call that do? The quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, I think that's actually how you don't get a roughing the passer penalty now. And, and we're not. Uh, Ian and I are not drinking. <laughs> nope. This is just I'm how we currently. are. Currently, not drinking. Currently. Currently. Yes. yes. That is the key word there. <laughs> On air. Yes. So in uh, uh, ten I think, days, I can. <laughs> Oh, Sober geez. November. You poor thing. You you poor, poor thing. Ah, then I'm going to be a cheap um, date come December. Christmas is going to be a blast. You know, you, you and your wife are just going to have to take turns buying each other shots of water. Yeah. Although I am <laughs> going home for Thanksgiving this week. I might not make it. Mm. Yeah. No. Good luck. Probably not. No. Moving on quickly, though. Yes. Let's 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 talk about Thanksgiving. Uh, I think that's going to be one of the big focuses of our uh, of our episode today. You know, it is, of course, we're coming up on Thanksgiving later this week and uh, so much to be thankful for. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, I want to be especially thankful of our sponsor, joesdiscgolf.com. Yeah. Who, uh, you know, is is just the best sponsor we could have asked for. Um Mainly because he's the only sponsor that we could have asked for. Yeah, check it out. And, Look at that. I uh, shared my screen and it's up on screen right now. Joesdiscgolf.com right. slash shop. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so joesdiscgolf.com slash shop. Uh, if you missed the announcement about it, they added a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. 
and uh, Tons of including, fun stuff. including for the very first time. Oh, gotta get there. Half in the bag disc golf merch. Yeah, check that out. Finally, we have a logo. It took it's only been a year, year in the making. <laughs> I'd say it took about 42 but, weeks, give or take, considering this is episode 42. <laughs> that there might be an argument for that. Yes, I think we missed um, a week here and there, but yeah, that's yeah, pretty like much 45 weeks or so. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, yeah. So we we do finally have merch. You can find that at joesdiscgolf.com slash shop. Yep. We also have. Uh, now, he also has added the new stupid tree logo. Yep. Uh, which is, uh, well, it's a it's a stupid tree. It's the now, cousin. My question is, how do I get the Walmart brand Chris Pratt in the uh, T-shirt to show up with the T-shirt? Well, how about this guy? Ooh, Walmart. Uh, oh, not uh, Brad Pitt, but. Uh, um, uh, Obi Wan, oh, goodness, Matt Damon. Matt, da- no, that's, Matt Damon. That's Walmart. Oh, yeah, I can that's see Walmart, that. Yeah, Matt Damon. This is Matt. Puppet oh no, that Matt might be Damon Target Matt life. Damon. <laughs> that's Target Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, Target Matt Damon. So oh, how do we man. get? I I know that many of our viewers and listeners, I'm sure, are like, well, let me take the model and not the shirt. Yes, but we'll package them up together <laughs> for you. That's how good our sponsor is. Oh yeah. Yes. You can't forget the yes. wonderful black and white versions of the mug, Disc Golf Drunk, written on a disc golf basket. Yes, yes. Part of the new they Half in the Bag Disc Golf initiative. Uh, branding, of course, is that, <laughs> yes, is the Disc Golf Drunk. Uh, yep. I, I we guess even have Christmas logo ornaments. Phrase. We do. They're, mm-hmm. they're actually pretty neat. Like, they're... Yeah. I don't dislike them. They, I, well, that's I good thought because about I made them. <laughs> I, meaning that, that I've actually thought about picking them up because yep. there are some, some good ones. These are, these are wooden. They're in the shape of a, like a classic stocking, a heart, a bell, a tree, an oval and a star. And they've just got uh, a generic disc golf basket. There's no branding. Yes, RJ, you have a question. Yeah, I, I raised my hand on Skype, too, in case you couldn't see I me. couldn't, because that's on my third screen to my left, and I'm looking at my <laughs> first screen all the way to the right. Oh, man. But, no, uh, uh, you said that we could get a classic stocking. How do we get a modern stocking ornament? Well, you got to take off your sock and just hang it up there. I'm, Everything's an ankle I'm sock. I'm not These wearing These are from any back socks. in the day when they were knee highs. Ah, ah see, gotcha. Gotcha. Now, I'm slightly disappointed in that the uh, tree does not have the stupid tree logo option. I couldn't make it work. Oh, I, I'm sure it's just oh, one of those things where it's I, like, yeah. oh, I would be so meta because it's 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 so wide. the The tree logo is so wide at yeah. the top and skinny at the bottom. It just wouldn't work on the Christmas tree. Yeah. It looks so bad. And it was so tiny. I was like, this I'm is sure. this is stupid. I'm sure. But if yeah, you're listening this tree. far into the episode, if you use promo code Black Friday 22, you get 10% off. Ooh. Ooh. That's that, we have a uh, That's your entire order. We now have we now have promo codes for our sponsors. That's how legit we are now. For Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and but, it goes through, but, I believe I set it up, so it goes through Cyber Monday. Ooh. We also have a lot oh, of the same stuff. you got stuff a nice pair of t-shirts. slides there. You can even rent the stoner in the long sleeve if you want. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's one of my athletes. <laughs> <laughs> or at least has the same haircut as many I of mean, them. My assumption is that they have green screened this dude in oh, yeah. like a green screen shirt and they just drop your, oh, your yeah. whatever you've put on it. Yes. And it is okay. fantastic. I am very curious about the slides, Ooh. although right now you're demoing oh, right, the, the amazing. Tumbler. Yeah, the wine tumblers, yep. uh, which would have been very helpful at the beginning of the year when I was all about the wine. Yes. So we've got stupid tree, disc golf drunk and just disc golf. And I believe you can get this in. Oh, it's only white. Not my choice. Boo. Not my choice. You want the slides? I am thinking about. I am thinking I'm, about. I'm very the curious about the slides. Mug. 
They are, are those just Joe's disc golf slides? Yes. And for whatever reason, those the are... default picture has it so it's upside down. But whatever. It just is disc golf. <laughs> it's it's so that you can uh, see it as your your uh, you know, as you'd be wearing. Yes. Them. Oof, that's too much white. But I know. Yeah, that's. No, thank you. No, thank you. But I know. Anyway. Yeah, there's some good so, yes, stuff. There's make stickers. Sure. Do you want a stupid tree sticker? Joe's disc golf stickers, disc golf drunk stickers. Stupid tree. There's a silhouette sticker, which I still think that the silhouette is probably my favorite part of your, your logo. Well, thanks, because that's me. <laughs> it, it's definitely the uh, best looking part of your logo. It's uh, It definitely is me, though. I... Uh, Took a still from a high speed video on my phone and just masked it. And I was gonna say, just removed yourself. Basically, yeah. <laughs> we also have Adidas polos. Ooh. Adidas. All it just says is Joe's Disc Golf. Haven't done anything too crazy. Comes in a bunch of different colors, but yeah. And so you can look professional yet comfortable. It's like a tuxedo nice. t shirt. We'll We'll have to get a sponsored player to wear our Joe's Disc Golf branded uh, polos. Yep. We also have... Along with our hat. Oh, I like that stocking hat, though. We have a fitted hat. I wish you could get it... An Adidas hat and then the poof ball hat. I, I wish I you just, could get it without the poof ball. Yep. Because I, I don't like having the poof ball when I'm playing disc golf. There is that... Uh, I, I There's more stuff I have to do. So I spent like uh, two hours just putting stuff together and changing things and just trying to make it work. And I'm just praying that this logo is not too detailed for the embroidery. Otherwise things have to change. And I don't know how to well, do that. One of us will have to uh, get it using the code. What, what's the code again? Black Friday 22. Black Friday 22. You can get, you can all, get a tote bag or, uh, that says disc golf. Yeah. You can get your entire order 10% You're off again. <laughs> that's Black Friday 22. Yep. Um, at joesdiscgolf.com slash shop. Yep. And, uh, you know, we want to thank our sponsor, Joe's Disc Golf, who, of course, hosts the, the episodes, the podcast. You can find the visual format on Joe's YouTube channel slash Joe's Disc Golf. Um, so, you know, super thankful for him for them and uh you know support him by buying the merch and uh maybe support us by buying our merch too yeah i'm gonna be honest let's, let's work on getting a stupid tree blanket i feel like that would i know I'm, I'm working like on a stupid that tree towel oh my uh the towels Honestly, aren't an option from the no. place i go through so all the stuff just just oh. so everybody is clear on this one all the stuff is print on demand so don't forget your towel nothing <laughs> nothing is nothing actually exists until you order it and as a result the place says that you get it from only carry so many things so the yeah. fact that you know you can get candles and airpods cases and blankets and all that stuff is pretty awesome but there are some limitations this is no lttstore.com where they are literally creating their own t-shirts like Keep making their own shirts and then putting graphics on them. We'll hey, get there one Joe, day. Joe, are you telling me that you are not hand knitting those poof ball hats? No, I'm no Linus Sebastian, but, uh, you know, kick his ass, sea bass. Oh, man. <laughs> Just tell your wife to get knitting, right? Yeah. She knits. Yeah. No. <laughs> My mother in law sews. <laughs> Perfect. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's fine. It's the same yeah, thing. It'll, yeah, it'll work out. Tell that to the cleaning lady oh. on Monday. I'm gonna Scott Pilgrim versus. I don't the understand it's this okay. reference. It's a deep dive there. I'm, I'm okay. Like, I, I'm, no. Anyway, it's when Michael Sarah so, uh, fights uh, Superman. Uh, uh, I forget which one. He also yeah. played. He was also in the. Oh, what was that DC show? Um, Heroes of Tomorrow or something like that. Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, it was that guy. No, you mean Rory? No. Um, the guy with the dark hair. I don't know his but, name. 
But he oh, played okay, Superman so for Superman th- Returns. Okay, so it's not the Roman guy. No, we're, this isn't Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, yeah. as we said, our theme for... Yes, in case you weren't sure, uh, listeners, we are nerds. And that was a 15-minute commercial. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and that was the QVC part of... Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh man! Next we'll All right, get Mike so, Rowe to read stuff. But what if we got a really small micro? Would he then be micro micro? Maybe, maybe. But what if what if I had a pet crow, and he was petting my pet crow? Oh my god! You, there's you, too much happening. There's in this way statement. too much. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move oh, on quickly. Brain can't process this right now. No. <laughs> but then it would be micro, micro, petting micro. No, oh, jeez. I just, I, I can't. <laughs> no. Uh, I think I can mute you. No, oh, that's no. not. It's not fair. All you right. Can mute well, him, but you can't unmute his, or you can't mute his audacity. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That is true. Yes. Audacity and is for a that, program we used, and he's audacious. And, oh, man. <laughs> um, and on that note, I'm very thankful that you can't mute my audacity. <laughs> and let's use that as a transition. Yay, transitions. Yeah. We promised that they'd get better throughout the year. They haven't. Um, but anyway, so as we said, we want to just kind of go th- go through some things that we are thankful for this year um mostly disc golf related maybe some not disc golf related ones and um i'll i'll go ahead and start us off by saying that i am very thankful for joe and all of the work that he puts into to this podcast um in doing my own podcast uh this year <laughs> i realized how much work it is and so, you know, for him doing all this stuff and, uh, you know, giving us the opportunity to, to talk disc golf, I'm super thankful. Yeah, and, it's and a now of fun. He's, I like doing it. And I'm glad you guys yeah. can do it because if this was just me hosting it by myself, it would be Joe's Disc Golf Part 2 podcast. And that would be boring for everybody. <laughs> you guys make it way entertaining. So I'm thankful, mean, and I'm oh, half man. thankful for Ben. He was here at the start, and then something, something, family wanting to spend time with them. Who does that? God. So, something, something dark side. Yeah, Blue Harvest. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, so yeah. yeah, that's that's my first one. Uh, Ian, I'll I'll turn it over to you. Well, I'll, and, I'll, I'll uh, jump on the back of of yours real quick and be like, yeah, agreed. Thanks to Joe for for hosting, because uh, where else would you get a uh, three episodes in October of me <laughs> playing <laughs> a horror oh, game yeah. for trouble the third episode? Oh. Horror game. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> and the, the third episode then be being rambling on about <laughs> disc golf topics <laughs> just to throw everyone off. Oh yeah, it was it that was that was very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I have a cut on my arm now. I don't Aww. know how I got it. Oh, Aww. it hurts. I blame uh, the cat. Anyway, no, this seems like I must have like run into a table or something. <laughs> yeah, he was anyway. DMing and he took three points of slashing damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the paper cuts. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh man. Yeah. So that's I'll 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 piggyback uh, off of that, but. Uh, Really, I'm I'm uh, I'm thankful for Ben's family for uh, needing him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Miss you, buddy. It was it's it's not been uh, it's it's been fun being on the podcast, but it, it you know yeah I miss yeah. hearing Ben being like oh you guys. <laughs> um, 
But I'll, I'll have to say that uh, I'm I'm thankful for all of our significant others who uh, allow us to uh, get together. Yeah, yeah I, I know second, f- third, and fourth, that yes, one. third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe, how many wives do you have if you're second, thirding, and fourthing that? I'm just, well, I have the cat, I, think it's I have the... a baby, and I have my wife. I have three <laughs> women in my life that live in this house. Oh, the man. cat's just like, I, oh, I guess I'll put the cable back together pretty much yeah pretty much (laughs) i guess i won't chew on this right now yeah i'll wait i'll wait (laughs) till you need it the most Uh, and you don't need it that bad right now (laughs) that's how cats are that's true yes Uh, mine's been like you've been gone for most of the day i'm upset i'm going to meow at you loudly i'm surprised that we don't have mostly audio of meow 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 uh that is generally my alarm clock in the morning yeah, poke, poke, poke. Excuse me, feed me. Yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> See, my, my my dog, who's probably smaller than both of your cats, is uh, is uh, sleeps in. Yeah. Nice. So I have mm-hmm. to uh, wake her up in the morning. I'm like, come on, you Tough have to go life. outside so I can get ready for work. Yeah. <laughs> so I am. Uh, uh, I guess I'll go next. I'm thankful. For well, both of you guys showing up and talking disc golf, and just giving a a different perspective, especially with Ian, who's just like pro people, whatever, f them, we don't need them. That sounds dumb. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, deep into the rec side of recreational disc golf. <laughs> Especially in Illinois. It's true. Not the recreational aspect that I thought you were going to say, Joe. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know, you know that, he's not that's... from Indiana like we are, so... I'm not you from know. Indiana. Well, he doesn't live in Indiana currently. He is. That, it's that sweet, sweet plastic. Just inhale <laughs> the plastic. <laughs> ah, yes. Smells like carcinogens. Oh, man. <laughs> it's really true. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I... would I'd like to be into the, like the pro side more, but like, you know, being is a lot more mobile. So it's just like, yeah, yeah, there's just only so much time that I have before it's like, who, what, what happened? Yes. So like, that's why I tune into Joe's disc golf. Yeah. <laughs> and so I like, what's am going on? <laughs> super thankful for my long commute where I can catch up on all this stuff. That 40 minute <laughs> commute each way really helps. Oh, man. Uh, First time so, I think uh, anyone's ever said I'm thankful for a long commute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without it being about getting away from their family? No, I try to get back to my family. I was going to say, well, that's more go. of like a 1950 joke. You're like, yeah. thank God for the long mm. commute. Don't have to deal with the little ones <laughs> and the women yeah. folk. Oh, those darn <laughs> women folk. Yeah. Anyway, the women's global so. event is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was too good. Oh, that was too good. Man. Oh, man. What is it? I'm thankful for our off brand sense of humor and that we're all yes. a little goofy. Oh, yes. Yes. We're all bozos so, uh, on this bus. We, we all kind of grew up watching the same or similar type of shows. That's for sure. The Simpsons? Simpsons, uh, Simpsons yeah. South Park, <laughs> Monty Python, Three Stooges. Oh, Monty Python. Yes. I don't know if you ever saw Sven Gulli, but I know I know Ian probably saw some Sven Gulli. Oh hell yeah, yeah man. Richard Richard Coase, it's a Chicago thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm not old like you guys. Oh no, Sven Gulli is still on. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on oh, me TV now. Yeah, he is. It's great. He live tweets right. stuff. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. It's, and amazing. Oh, it's, you would enjoy it. <laughs> I'll, I might have to look. Did, did you guys ever watch the Red Green show? Off topic. Not really off topic, but. I've seen clips. Or see the, yeah, the Red Green I've, sh- I've seen show? I've like. Clips. Yeah, I, yeah, I've, yeah I've, I've seen like a couple of episodes, but I haven't like watched it with any regularity. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, that that was just another one. That I'm like, oh, that one would fit in that. That, yeah, that, that yeah. is kind of like mm-hmm. a Sven Gulli type deal. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The, uh, Thankful for old TV no. shows <laughs> and our dads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I'm in that vein. I'm thankful for Bob Ross. He'll, yes. If I can't sleep. Oh my just, God. Just put on a little Bob Ross and, bam, mm. you are. So TV's Valium. <laughs> even if you don't use Plex, you should download the Plex app. Sign up for a free account because in their free Plex app um, channels, there's a Bob Ross channel. Oh no! Oh yes! If you need help That's falling a happy asleep, channel right there. I mean, oh yeah! <laughs> We're gonna paint some happy little trees. Is <laughs> Duff Man might be a little stupid, in but the we love him anyway. Problem. <laughs> always, always. Oh yeah! Duff Man, Duff Man doing anything is the solution to the problem. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Duff Man can't breathe. Oh no! Duff Man <laughs> is thrusting in the direction of the problem. <laughs> oh, All right. So getting us back on the topic of disc golf, uh, I am very thankful that I am able to get some awesome discs. Um, mm-hmm. my, my primary supplier of discs, of course, is dynamic discs. And, uh, you know, it gives me a good opportunity to talk about my brand new first run escapes that I got. Ooh, this that's week. the same color I have. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine's in my car. But you have two of them. Oh, I don't know you what mean- color the stamp is. Peaches and cream, because that's what it just. Yeah, it makes it me does. think of like a peaches and cream, like a it does kind of. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, no, it definitely does. I well, so I got the light ones. Yep, I got the one sixty nine. Nice, which only came in light pink or pink or maybe something else. But <laughs> there's I'm a like, reason. okay, do I want? There is a reason. <laughs> there's a reason. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> What are what, what's the reason, Joe? <laughs> uh, I picked up a couple of frisbees the other day too. One of them is the Supreme Escape, which, if you don't know what Supreme plastic is, if you've thrown Grand plastic in the Royal line from Latitude, it's that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Like, it's, not that I, that's a bad yeah. thing, but no, it's. So. It's really nice plastic. It feels really good. Yep. I'm going to have to figure out which of... I don't know whether I want my, like, pinkish-reddish stamp or my bluish-tealish stamp. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if I want to make one of those my thrower and one of them, like, a display disc or Mm -hmm. which one, but I don't know. I I don't have it with me, but I've also picked up... I picked up two other discs. So, before I was a big Felon fan, I was... I love the Criminal, which is the Felon. (laughs) Which is the felon, but a 10 speed instead of a 9 speed. And then they went out of production. And now they're back in production. But now they're back. Like five years later. I wonder later. if that means the patrol would will be making a comeback criminal? sometime soon. I would say. And it's a very smooth disc, too. So when we're playing in our doubles tournament next year, yep. are you going to have to tell somebody that they've been hit by? They've been I don't, struck by? I don't think I could throw it that far. <laughs> Especially if they're named Annie. But you have to make sure that they understand that they're okay. Yes. I also uh, oh, picked up man. a third disc because the local shop, if you buy three, you get 10% off, which is like the best marketing thing ever. Because I pick up one, I'm like, well, I only need two more. <laughs> you just can't. You're like, oh, I could try this disc. Yep. Oh, well, I have two now, so I might as well get a third. So I had the Berg from Castaplast. And so I decided to pick up another disc that has like a weird like mold on the inside. I sent you the picture on Discord, I think. Or no, I sent it uh I think I just texted it to you and Ben, RJ. Yeah, I think so. And uh, it's, it's, not it's really weird. weird. I don't have strange it. Strange inside mold. It's uh I'll I'll have to send you the picture. I'll see if I can find it on my phone here quick. Um but it is very overstable. The problem was I was throwing it in a pretty strong wind yesterday, and it was also really cold, and I couldn't feel my fingers. So, oh, that, so that made throwing rather difficult, and I can't wait until the spring to be able to uh, throw it again. But it is called the Rask, I'm- and I thought I was going to pick up two of them, so I would have had two Rasks. But uh, two so rascals, uh, Rasks you weren't, weren't in the cards. And I think RJ gets the the joke I'm going for here. Uh, I mean, all that I can think of is the D and D monster, the Tarask. Oh no, I was going with the uh, <laughs> hockey player Tukarask. 
Oh, yeah. That's another good one. Yeah. I it's... don't play enough D and well, I don't really play any D and D to <laughs> know that uh, one. Okay. Not for lack of trying, because some of us have invited you I, multiple times. I, hey, I know. And I chose life. <laughs> That's that's reasonable. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, you know. I I did actually kill everyone in the most recent one that I invited you to. Well, so hmm. that's that's actually fair. And uh, and I had my character all set. I was. Oh yeah, you are not kidding. That is weird. I was. Uh, yeah. My character hmm. name was Battleaxe Bortis. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I know. But anyway. gets it. Have you have you watched that show, RJ? No, the Orville. It's fantastic, and even better, it was it, it was Bordas when he had the mustache. <laughs> oh my gosh, you RJ, you would really like if you oh no. you like sci fi and all that stuff. So I know you'll actually like the Orville. Yeah, my my honestly, my favorite book, one of my favorite books is is uh, Ender's Game. I've so read, I've one. only watched the movie, and the movie was oh, okay. The book is so much better. I figure the, the books usually are better than the movies, but yeah, the but movie like, was entertaining. I'll say that. The the movie reminds me of... Did, did you guys ever watch The Inheritance... Or not watch. Read The Inheritance books? Nope. Yeah. Okay. The movie for Ender's Game reminds me of the movie of Aragon. And that on its own, the movie is fine. But if you know what's going on, it sucks. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yep. I'd agree with and, that. And uh, this has been movie review time. Uh, yeah. Half in the bag movie <laughs> review. That's our next oh, spinoff. Man. And uh, <laughs> uh, so I feel like that one might actually be already taken. Probably. I can see that. Yeah. But most likely. I, I would well, be anyway. surprised if it wasn't. I'll jump in with my next one. Yeah. Uh, I am thankful for um, <laughs> little Park District Nine Hole courses because they make you feel good when you're like, oh, yeah, I threw like, a yes, I'm going to go to this little, you know, your little beginner course. And you're just like, I'm going to go feel good about myself. I'm going to go to <laughs> Castaldo and shoot under yep. par by a lot. Yep. Oh, man. In nine holes, I'm down ten. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Car <laughs> is soft, to say the least. Yep. Oh, man. Feel good courses. That's what I'm thankful for. Me too. Anytime you're like, I don't feel very confident about anything I just did. You're like, I'm going to go play that. I'm going to go play that course. Yeah. I'm gonna feel good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to piggyback off of that and say that I am very thankful that uh, I live basically in the area that uh, Fort Disc Golf Club is active in, which is the uh, Fort Wayne Disc Golf yes. Club. Yes, and because they've got some some awesome people that you know are, are always putting on tournaments mm-hmm. and leagues and everything, and you know do an awesome job with all the courses and everything. So I'm I'm super thankful for that. Um, it's it's crazy you know, how it, spoiled we are here in Fort Wayne. That's a great given word for it. given the the activity of the club and the size of the club relative to the size of the area, it's pretty crazy. I mean, uh, the only time I, well, I really got a sense of like, Oh wow, this is what it's like to have another club be like this big is when I went to, um, clash at the canyons at Delwood park in Lockport, which is a very large suburb. And basically yeah, that's one of the, the Joliet uh, disc golf club runs yeah. that area. And that's huge. And then there's us in the fort. Well, and I mean, I I think it also kind of goes along with a it's a huge kind of catchment area in that Mm -hmm. it runs all the way up, you know, basically a a county north and a county south of the second largest city in Indiana. Yep. Um, Which because there are multiple. Yeah, multiple uh, courses, north and south, and it kind of is. um it's kind of like Chicago and that it's merged with uh, with with other cities. Yeah, because you know there there's a couple other clubs in the the local area that mm-hmm. seem to kind of overlap and uh, and and you know I'm I'm super thankful that where I'm I live in a, an area where I am spoiled for playing disc golf. 
I, I can kind of go and do whatever or wherever and for the most part really don't have to pay because that's pretty yeah. awesome too. Yeah. It makes, makes uh, playing a lot more palatable. It made it easier for me to get my in-laws into it. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have to smack them around nearly as much. Yeah, yeah. Although my brother-in-law is starting to get pretty good. So uh, it's no longer like, oh, yeah, just go out and throw. Oh, yeah. It's You're just like, oh, God, he actually threw a pretty, a, pretty good line. Pull a Tanya Harding. <laughs> just whack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This is for stepping out of your place. <laughs> this is my uh, sport. Family love, uh, deal with it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Everyone will be like, oh, he grew up in Chicago. It's expected. He's, yeah, you know, it's, it's fine. Just how that's, it is. That's, just, that, that's just how he is, you know. <laughs> He's from the south side, you know. Those horrible south suburbs. <laughs> Oh, man. Actually, one of the suburbs is pretty bad, right by my parents. Robbins? Yeah, Robbins has not been, uh, yeah, it, it's been shit on. Oh, yes. We'll we just throw that. <laughs> yes. It's, prob- it's probably <laughs> we'll the best way to put it. Your parents okay. don't live in Robbins. I, I do have a question for you, Joe. Yeah. Because I know nothing about the geography of Chicago. Yep. For the most part. Yep. So I know I know that you're a Sox fan. Yep. How how far are you from like the the stadium? Uh, twenty minutes to three hours. <laughs> that sounds okay. like so a good day So you're in the general area of Chicago. Got it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So <laughs> finally, after I stopped, after I moved out and stopped going to Sox games because I just didn't live in the state anymore, they finally put. An Amt- or a, a metro stop at 35th Street after I left because you would take from the south suburbs you'd take the Rock Island or not Rock Island the, the Joliet line and you would pass by and go hi Comiskey you were like three blocks away and there was no stop there for yep. decades because I don't know why um, I think normally it would take me about, on average, probably about forty minutes or so. Okay, that would say that. So, so what? You were like two blocks away, basically. Yeah. <laughs> they were at Thirty Fifth Street. I was on one hundred twenty or one hundred thirty fifth Street, so hundred blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. mind the fact of the whole east west. That's just north south. Yeah. 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 Sister, All right. Damon, I, I was just it's curious. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't, you know, so. show everyone your phone yeah. or have a pocket bulge. You'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So, oh, man. Yeah, Chicago, fun Correction, times. That's for your wallet, not your penis. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> not, not talking about that kind of pocket bulge. <laughs> How's it hanging? Mostly to the left today. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So, Joe, what are you thankful uh, for? Oh, oh man, I lost my train of thought right now. Oh man, I'm I'm thankful for everybody who actually listens to this. Same, because we have like 20 people that listen to this. So, spread the word. Ooh. This is the opposite of Fight Club. You're not telling enough. The first people. rule of Joe's disc golf club is to tell everyone. Uh, you have to tell lazy. everyone. <laughs> oh, tell man. everyone, you filthy animals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, Merry oh, Christmas. Man. <laughs> no, it it is it is nice to be like, oh, people do listen to our wildly unhinged, uh, never on topic yeah. <laughs> ramblings. And, yeah. and a decent way through for some reason. Are we still trending well with the uh, young ladies? Or, uh, have, no, that's kind of uh, tapered off for whatever reason when we first started. And it must have just been like, it, it had, I don't even, I can't even explain it. I can't even say like, oh, for whatever reason it was kids with like logged into their mom's Spotify account. Because this was like 19 to 29 year olds or something like that like we were 
99% of our audience of like 30 people yeah. at the time. I was like, this doesn't make sense. How is this, how is this happening? No. I don't understand. I'm happy. Yeah. But I, like, I think Ben took that uh, demographic with him. I think so too. So we'll have to get him back. I know. We need another. Uh, man. We need another cheddar head to do that. Oh man! Yes, uh, obviously, obviously, we were trending so well with the with that demographic because of our amazing dad bods. You know it. You know it. Maybe maybe that's what's happened to that demographic is they've actually they were all 29 and now they're they're 30 <laughs> or as uh, I believe the ladies say they are 29 again. Yes. Mm. <laughs> but Spotify won't let them change their birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, man. I like to think that's what's happened to that demographic. Exactly. <laughs> is, is it? Uh, never mind. I'm not going to. Nope. Nope. Just no. Just yep. Probably better off that way. Yep. yep. Uh huh. Yep. 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 I couldn't. I was gonna try to make like a dazed and confused reference, and then I was like, I can't make this nope. sound not creepy. Really wrong. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yep. There we go. All right. One of my students, where I work, a high schooler, her favorite movie is Dazed and Confused, and I'm just like, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Is is it be? Is it because she also feels the same way about high school girls as Matthew McConaughey's character? You know, I've character never wanted forgetting? to ask because, you know, I like my job and I, I like not being a registered sex offender. Oh, man. Well, OK, so speaking of Matthew McConaughey, I, I got a question for you guys. All right. OK. All right. <laughs> All right. There we go. Uh, there. <laughs> okay, that was that was better than the question. That was actually just going to be a, a a joke. So we'll move on quickly. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie, right. or chokey. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I have a lemon in my backpack. I need to take out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're sober. <laughs> If that was a reference, I don't understand it at all. No, hold on. <laughs> nope. It's hey, hey, Ian. Is it a party in there? <laughs> it's, for his it's not a. It's not a dot org. <laughs> no, it's just a lemon. Why, why do you have a lemon? <laughs> to zest things up. So I, I made myself oh, some shut tea. Up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you beautiful bastard! <laughs> you farking So I made bowl. myself, I made some myself some tea, and then I accidentally left it here because uh, our babysitting situation fell through. So we brought Bean to our friend's house because mm. they have three kids, and their middle child, their daughter, uh, she was like, "Oh, sure, I'll watch Bean." So we're like, "All right, we'll give you like forty bucks," and uh, and a lemon. So. <laughs> I had, I had in the haste of trying to get like all of Bean stuff because they don't really have any little kids toys because they gave it to us. Yeah. For Bean, so like, like just in the like getting everything together to get ready and get going, I forgot my tea, but I'd put the lemon in my backpack so that way I could like have some lemon with my tea. Yep. And left the tea here, so when Joe said "Okie dokie," I had to choke you. I was like, "Oh yeah, I got a lemon in my." <laughs> Oh man! I have to take that out before oh. it's just sitting in there. I just—I don't even know at this moment. <laughs> oh, oh. Man. And now, do you I, understand I feel like why we were roommates in college? <laughs> I, I, I just—I feel like he's uh, you they know lived with each other. So like many jokes years. on the tee, but yep, I just can't think of any. I know, I know right? I know. <laughs> oh, oh man! man. This I've, is. All right. What else I'm are you guys thankful, thankful that for? I don't have scurvy because <laughs> <laughs> I got my lemons and my oranges. I am thankful <laughs> for. I don't even know. I can't. I'm trying. I'm trying hard. I'm, just... I'm thankful that I had a glass of bourbon to go with this episode. I'm <laughs> wishing I did. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, but I still gotta edit this, so that'll be fun. I uh, I I will say that I I am uh, thankful for, and this is a real thing. Uh, better manufacturing on the uh, the discs with the plastic because yes. now that the beads aren't so sharp all the time, I'm not cutting my dang fingers open every time. Yes, like you don't ha- you know I don't have to be like oh yeah I'm just gonna throw it on uh, the pavement for like a couple of times just to s- grind things down. You will you will definitely enjoy throwing the Supreme slash Grand plastic. It is mm-hmm. buffed. Supreme. I know. I had actually when we were talking about when I did my whole preview for uh, Worlds, where it was at Jones Supreme, quite a few Tenacious D references were uh, mentioned, and quite a few were picked up and commented below. Mm. So I was very excited. I was like, "Oh, you guys listened. <laughs> Forget that oh, you got the man. reference. You guys listened. Thank you." <laughs> it's Carlos Supreme and a Chicken Supreme, oh. a Burrito I- Supreme. Oh, I, such a good... I've never seen this movie, so... Supreme. Oh, no, it's just a song. Count up, one, two, three. Oh, okay. It's from the uh, <laughs> yeah, it's self-titled just... Tenacious D album. Tenacious D. The first album. Uh, yes. Well, the first full album. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. No, yeah, you would definitely like the uh, Supreme Plastic then. Yes. Because there is... We can get a burrito sticker and slap it on there for you. Ooh. <laughs> I'll just have Katie draw me a burrito. That way it doesn't change the flight pattern. Yes. So would that I make mean, my first turn escapes more or less valuable by sticking a burrito sticker on it? <laughs> yes. Mm. Also, hey, Joe, yeah. new uh, merch idea. Burrito sticker. Some, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You do have to put a disclaimer. Ooh. This will make your disc illegal for pdga sanctioned tournaments though it's the illegal Only burrito sticker ones. yes the illegal burrito there you supreme go. and you get there it curved you just it... right so it just says burrito and you put it right above supreme <laughs> the... but supreme is flat oh it is lame yeah i thought it was curved <laughs> no, nope that makes it easier though it that does. It, it does easier. make it a lot easier. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Wow. Ooh, I'm thankful for these I, uh, tangents. Yes. Yes, always. <laughs> but on a real note, um, unless you guys have anything else, I've got one more. I do not. Um, no, I'm yeah. Really so, excited. so I'm thankful for you guys for, you know, helping make this so fun to do. And, uh, like, like you guys have said, I'm, I'm super thankful for, for all of our listeners and subscribers, the people that, you know, we, we do this for, and, uh, you know, I'm thankful that you guys listen. And even though you're probably not listening now, <laughs> Wait, what? but, huh? where are we? Who are you? you? Oh man. But yes, huh? I'm uh, I'm I'm super thankful for all of it. Uh, this has been an awesome experience to do this, and uh, you know I'm, I'm thankful that we get to continue to do it. So it's fun. With that said, uh, I think that's a pretty good spot to to end this episode. I'd say so. Uh, Ian, if we if they want to find you, if one uh, quick where can they find you? Oh yes. Before I, I uh, I think I've officially figured out what the thumbnail for this episode should be. It's the uh, ep- uh, Simpsons episode in which Milhouse calls, guys, come quickly, an old man is talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When uh, Grandpa Simpson's like sitting them all down to talk about the lemon tree. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I could just <laughs> wipe that out and put a disc golf basket. <laughs> put stupid tree. Yes. Yeah. See if we get the stupid tree yes. in there. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Brainstorming. So anyway. Me closing out. Uh, yes, uh, you can find me uh, while the blue bird is, is somehow still fluttering through the sky and not burning on the ground. You you signed Just, up for a, a a twit. You're a twit now. I've I've well I've I've unfortunately had the twit for a while when I was more actively streaming. Ah uh, yes. I just haven't. I just haven't used it. L- left. Yeah. 
But you can find me yeah. there. I randomly post silly musings uh, and um, otherwise twitch.tv. Uh, everything that I'm on at, uh, at Pop Refresh, P-O-P-R-F-R-E-S-H. Yeah. Keeping it simple. Barely keeping oh, our joke. Facebook. I do, I do have a, a, like a it's, Facebook gaming It's page. late. Yeah. Nice. I don't, anyway. I, not even that late, but, uh, Joe, where can they find you? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, For the now. disc golf course, <laughs> at Joe's disc golf. <laughs> Uh, I'm so, also on Reddit at Joe's oh, Disc Golf. Passed out on the editing desk. <laughs> Basically, that's going to be tonight. <laughs> hey, Joe. Yo. I feel like you need to rename your Discord server. Uh oh. The uh, Disc Golf server. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I see what you did. I, there I was really yay. worried there because both of you just had this look of like, I, I don't understand the joke oh. for like a solid two seconds there. And I'm like, oh, wow, that one bombed real hard. <laughs> no, there were there were brains, brain uh, cells that were like, wait, the, wait, the we get cells this, right? that I have left this. had to rub together really hard to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But Joe, what, what, so you said they can find you pretty much everywhere. Joe's disc golf.com. Yep. Or um, under Joe's disc golf. Yeah, if you go to joesdiscgolf.com up at the top, there's the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, um, Disc Golf Healthy, and a new website that I've started kind of messing around with called DG Putter. So, mm. to help you practice your sets of 100 throws. Mm. Yep. That's kind of the Roger. default because that's what I use. <laughs> I know, you know where, nothing you know about where coding, all... so uh, slow going on the whole updates thing. Hey, Joe. Yo. You know where all my putts are going? On the ground. To hell? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And on that note, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Half in the Bag DG yep. for as long as you uh, want to be on Twitter. And uh, I'm personally listeners. enjoying the dumpster fire. It's it's highly entertaining. It's something I will it, say. It's something for sure. Since he bought it, Twitter has become far more interesting. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I think is yet to be seen. But it is definitely far more interesting. That's for sure. That well, that you know, is. It's a dumpster fire. Exactly. You can't look away from the dumpster fire train wreck. I know. <laughs> I've tried looking away from my disc golf game, and you just can't. No. Okay. And on that note, yeah, listeners and viewers, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you want to watch this, you can find it on YouTube slash Joe's Disc Golf. If you don't want to see our ugly faces, uh, we don't blame you. You can find it. Uh, <laughs> you can find this wherever you get your major podcasts. You can also find this one. And... Uh, <laughs> Now the guys are messing with me. Thanks, yep. guys. Love you, too. Um, but thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for listening. Joe, thank you for all that you do. Ian, thank you for being a part of the podcast. And to everyone, enjoy your rounds. Bye. Later. Good night, everybody. <laughs>